here's what I need to establish, because this has been the issue which people have been, uh, I think, rightly concerned about, which is all this money, this £809,000 in the first year that Club Nook Limited raised in revenue. Where did that come from? Because the belief is it came from Captain Tom themed merchandise. Is that the case? No, that, that the money hasn't come from merchandise. The bulk of that money, the vast majority of that money, came from the three books that he wrote um, with Penguin Random House. The and Captain so, Tom wrote the, the three ca- books. That Captain Tom wrote. Including one was a big runaway number one bestseller. Yeah, right? so Tomorrow Will Be a Good Day, yeah. which is his autobiography, which is about his life. Um, and what percentage of the club money was from those books? Ninety-five percent of it. So the vast majority. Yeah. Was there any other merchandise-themed product? No. Nope. Never any. No. Nope. So Club Nook never made any revenue from Captain Tom themed merchandise outside of these books. No. Nope. So Hannah, the, the question I guess about the books is, people will say, well, the books are based on his fame, which came from the charity walks. Why has that money not gone to charity? These um, were my father's books, and and it was honestly such a joy for him to write them. But they were his books. They um, the deal was done. He had an agent, and the agent um, and he worked on that deal. They were Captain Tom's books, and his wishes whether that money was that that money would sit in Club Nook, and in the end um, for you we, to keep. Yes. He said that specifically to you? Specifically. Was there anything on any of the books that referred to the Captain Tom Foundation? Absolutely not. Was there anything in the contracts that referred to Captain Tom Foundation? So there was never any agreement by you on behalf of your father with these book deals that any of that money would go to charity? Absolutely not. And remember that he wrote these books. Um, He started writing them fairly early on, um, just as the walk had finished. Mm. And they were all signed off. He'd finished them by the June of 2020. Mm. Um, They were were never anything to do with the charity. What will you say to people who will say, you shouldn't have kept that money? That it should have all gone to the charity? That these books were based on Captain Tom, it's the public are buying the books, it should all have gone to charity. What will you say to those? But they were my father's books. Um, he wrote them, hmm. and he decided what to do with the income from them. It was his wishes, not, not ours. Hmm. He made the decision about the things that he did. We um, didn't act for him. Colin, I mean, people will criticise this. You know that. But are you comfortable looking back? Would you do the same thing again? Given all the attention that's now been put on you as a family, all the criticism, would you, if you had your time again, keep that money? Yes. You know, they were, it was his money, his income. And just because the charity happened to be called Captain Tom Foundation doesn't mean that his assets are all suddenly owned by...